Hello my friends, how are you? This is Dryden. Uh, today I want to unbox for you the Tom Clancy Ghost Recon Wildlands Fallen Angel figurine that I just received today. This is actually a UV Collectibles uh, figurine uh, that is coming out next week, Tuesday. Uh, but I actually uh, got lucky and got it a, bit of a, a little bit early, a couple days before, so I'm very excited about this. Uh, I'm going to give you a 360 view of the box itself. Uh, this is actually how it looks in the front. You can see the figurine inside. And then I'll give you the side view of the box itself. Uh, you can see what actually it includes, which is a uh, the figurine itself. It should be about eight and a half to nine inches tall. Uh, I'll give you a quick view of the box itself, how it looks on the side. Uh, definitely um, looks like a nice collectible item for any collectors out there. I don't know if any of you actually tried the beta, but I did try it. I liked it. You know, it's similar like a lot of other Far Cry games. I like those type of games, um, and I do like the co-op as well but also the option of just playing single player. Uh, so here I'm just giving you a view of the back of the box itself. You can see it was made by the UV Workshop, uh, Pure Arts, and then Ubisoft logo. Uh, the statue itself is 25 centimeters high. And then on the other side of the box itself, what you can see here is a nice art of the game itself. Uh, you can definitely see the, the, like the Santa Muerte here. You can see here Santa Muerte, if we speak in Spanish directly. Uh, down here in the statue itself, you can see an image of the the background with the mountains, the helicopter in the back, and again, this is Santa Muerte here. So definitely, you know, if you like, if you're into those shooters, uh, similar to like the Division or Far Cry game, a mix of both of those, then this is a good game for you. Uh, so let's open this up as well. But before I do that, I want to show you the top. The top of the box has the nice uh, Ghost logo uh, that you've seen. It's actually I've seen the same logo on the Steel Books that they're going to come out in Europe. I will be doing an unboxing as well with the, with the Amazon exclusive United States. It has an exclusive steelbook, and then there's a European steelbook, and then there's one from GameStop exclusive. You'll be seeing those videos uh, later this week once I get them. Uh, so now, once you open it up from the top, I'm going to open up here to take it out so you can see it in, in, in more detail. So once you open it up, what you have here is just a, a quick instructions of, of how to assemble the those figurine itself, nothing on the back. Once you take out the figurine, you're actually going to be able to see, uh, you know, the figurine itself uh, with like um, a, a chain that you can use and wear or save it. And then on the back of the box, I just wanted to show you that it does have the symbol on the back uh, of SB, which is Santa Blanca, which is actually the the crime uh, group uh, in, in this game that you're gonna see if you do play the game. So the SB logo on the back, same thing with the crucifix behind the scenes there. So let me just put that box on the side so we can focus on the figurine itself. Uh, once you see the figurine, you can definitely see there is some detail. You can see a lot of skulls on the bottom. Uh, it looks to be like, it like wants to look like if it's uh, wooden based. Uh, we'll touch it right now to see what it is. I'm actually just moving it around for you can see the detail on the head itself and then the chain. Uh, let me just edit a bit and let me take out of this box. All right, so I was able to uh, take out the figurine from the plastic cover. Uh, I just wanted to speed that up and don't make the video too long. And here you can definitely see the figurine itself uh, completely uh, in detail. Uh, so the little chain that came with it came in a little bag and I actually just took it out of the bag and I just wrapped it around the head similar to how it shows behind the box. So the figurine itself, I'm gonna do a close up here. It has a lot of detail. You can definitely see the skull, uh, some blood in the skull, uh, the chain that I just put on. Uh, you can see the, like, the Grim Reaper uh, weapon as well. And then once you keep uh, looking on the bottom of the statue, you can see a lot of details. The skull itself, you have the base that looks like if it looks, it wants to look like it's wooden base, but it's actually PVC plastic. Uh, same thing with the fingering itself. It is made of PVC and then I'll just give you a 360 view of the statue figurine itself so you can see how it looks. I'll just give you a uh, turn it around a little, a little bit. There is a lot of details made on the on the on the robe that the uh, Santa Muerte or Fallen Angel has. He wants to wants to provide a lot of details and then the back part of the the robe that it has it is made of like cloth material uh, so the 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 stat figurine itself is PVC, but it does it is made also of uh, cloth material here, 
and then the chain itself is just made out of uh, like plastic beads. So overall, you know, it's a very, very nice looking figurine uh, for any collectors out there. I mean, it's very similar to a lot of the other UB collectible statues and figurines that we have seen in the past. Um, it is a nice collectible for anyone out there. It, um, it is about eight and a half to nine inches tall. So not huge, not big, uh, but definitely a nice looking one. It is actually taller than nine inches uh, once you, you go all the way to the Green Ripper weapon. So the Green Ripper weapon makes it be almost 12 inches tall. Well, the figurine itself is about nine inches. So I hope you all enjoyed my video. I hope this was helpful for anyone who uh, wants to buy this and is thinking about buying it or not. Uh, please don't forget to leave a like uh, to my video if you don't mind. Leave a comment of what you think, uh, how I'm doing in my videos, what do you think about Ghost Recon, the game itself. I'm looking forward to playing it, but I do have a lot of games to play as well. So I, I won't be playing it right away next week, but I will definitely be playing it right after I finish Horizon Zero Dawn. So stay tuned. Please take a look at my other videos. I will be unboxing the GameStop exclusive Nomad uh, uh, statue, as well as um, Near Automata Black Box Edition. Thank you, everyone. Please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and game on.